Hi everyone, this is a quick review of 10-5. This was the assignment that was uh, given yesterday and some of you have already reviewed it with me. This video is just going to walk you through the answers in case you had any questions or a hard time with it. And of course you can always ask me after the video in our next meeting. Okay, here it is. Make sure you have your workout in front of you so you can make the corrections. Here we go. Okay, so now let's look at number three. 347 plus 242. We're going to start by adding the hundreds. 300 plus 200 is 500. And then... We go to the tens. Four tens plus four tens equals 80. That's right, eight tens is 80. And then we add the ones. Seven plus two equals nine. And then we add it all up. 500 plus 80 plus nine equals 589. Now let's try number four. We'll start by adding the hundreds. 100 plus 200 is 300. And then we'll go on to the tens. Eight tens plus four tens. Well, eight plus four is 12. 8 tens plus 4 tens is like saying 80 plus 40, and that is 120. And then we go on to the ones. 3 plus 9 equals 12. And then we just have to add everything up. 300 plus 120 plus 12 equals 432. Let's do the same thing for number five. Two hundred plus four hundred equals six hundred. And then we have seven tens plus zero tens. Well, seven tens is seventy. And then we'll add the ones. Eight plus six is 14. And then we'll put these all together. 600 plus 70 plus 14 is 684. Then we'll go to number six. 300 plus 400 which equals 700 and then six tens plus nine tens or 60 plus 90 is 150 and then we add the ones seven plus three is 10. And we have all of our partial sums now. We just have to make sure everything is lined up nicely. 700 plus 150 plus 10 is 860. Let's do the same thing for number seven. The pattern is the same. Five hundred plus three hundred is eight hundred. One ten plus four tens equals fifty.
and eight ones plus seven ones is 15. And then we put them all together. 800 plus 50 plus 15 equals 865. The important thing, boys and girls, is to keep everything lined up. Now let's look at the bottom. Higher order thinking. Mark found the sum of 127 and 345. Explain his mistake. What is the correct sum? Well, look at this blue box. Mark has 127 plus 345. And then look at his partial sums. 400 plus 6 plus 12. Wait a minute. That's in the wrong spot. It shouldn't be 6 in the 1's column. It should be 6 in the 10's column. Because 6 10's is 60. So, it should be 400 plus 60 plus 12. And if we add that up, 400 plus 60 plus 12, what do we get? 462. Okay, and then we have to explain it. He did not line up the place values. That was his mistake. Let's move on. So number nine, reasoning. Now this talks about money, but we can just ignore the dollar sign and think about the numbers. Rhea has a $100 bill, four $20 bills, one $10 bill, and three $5 bills. Explain this, is this amount greater or less than $210? Explain. Well, let's see if we can look at what she has. I'm gonna show 100 like this. That's the strategy I'm going to use. Four $20 bills. So I'm going to put four 20s. That's 20, right? Because it's two 10s. That's another 20. That's a third one. And that's a fourth one. And it says she has a $10 bill. There's a 10. And three fives, three $5 bills. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what number is this? I have one hundred, nine tens, and fifteen ones. So I can use partial sums. One hundred plus ninety plus fifteen. And that gives me two hundred and five. Now, we're not finished because it asks us, is this amount greater or less than $212. Explain. No problem. Here's what I'm going to say. No. 205 is less than 210. That's it. Okay, number 10. It says look for patterns. 349 people are on a boat. 255 people are on another boat. How many people are on both boats? We're going to use the same strategy we've been using this whole time. 349 plus 255. Add the hundreds. 300 plus 200 is 500. And then add the tens. Four tens plus five tens is 90. And finally, nine plus five equals 14. 500 plus 90 plus 14 is 604. Okay, we're using partial sums. Look at number 11. 163 students are in first grade. 217 students are in second grade. How many students are in both grades? Well, 217 plus 163. And... What do we do? We add the hundreds, and there should be a line right here. 
And then we add the tens. One ten plus six tens is seven tens, 70. And then seven plus three equals 10. 300 plus 70 plus 10 is 380. Okay, and then the last one, it says choose a number between 100 and 400. Add 384 to your number. What is the sum? Okay, no problem. I'm going to use the number 150. I'm going to add my hundreds. 300 plus 100 is 400. And then I'm going to add the tens. 8 tens plus 5 tens is 130. And then I'm going to add the ones. 400 plus 130 plus 4 equals 534. How did I do it? I stacked the numbers. I added the hundreds first. Then I added the tens. Next, I added the ones. Finally, I added the partial sums, and that's it.